Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct and in for the vacationing Todd Demers. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, and get used to it because I'll be here for the next 11 days. So if you don't like that, just, we'll be around for a little bit. Todd will be back in about a week and a half, somewhere in there. So thanks a lot for joining us for this morning. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, your opportunity to ask questions about the forecast and to see what's going on out there. We include the area around West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas. So we again have most of that area covered under what's called the Mid-South. If you'd like to check out more of our forecast and can't stick around for our entire netcast here, read the red bar at the bottom of your screen or check out our 7-10 to 10 day forecast here at wreg.com slash weather and we'll keep you updated on what's going on. If you got any weather reports from around your location, we had showers and thunderstorms overnight, none of which were severe, but if you have any rain gauge reports, we'd love to know more about what's going on where you're located, so give us a city-state location and also a little bit more as to what's going on in your area. Temperature, wind speed, clouds reports, anything like that, we'd love to be able to see that and, of course, we'll post some of those, especially your pictures on social media. We'll show you some of the pictures that you've sent in out there coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that. And any other questions or concerns, again, please email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Currently pretty quiet out there for right now. And for those of you who are wondering about how much time we have left in summer, quite a few from what it looks like. 57 days, 12 hours and change. This information from archaeoastronomy.com, keeping you updated on the countdown in the seasons. And it changes over officially September 22nd, Saturday. That's the equinox. Now, that does not guarantee that we're going to be getting into anything involving cooler weather. But at least you know how much farther we have to go in summer because I know a lot of you out there are not that happy as to watching what goes on with all the continued heat and humidity of summertime out there. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the next several days. Currently, again, temperature on the mild side thanks to those clouds out there but we'll be looking for more showers and thunderstorms to be leaving the area and that means some more sunshine and that seems again the possibility of some warmer conditions into around later this afternoon into this evening so we may see some temperatures if we get enough sunshine back into the mid to upper 80s but that's about as close as we're going to get for today showers and cloudy skies around Oxford at the track and field facility not too many people out for a jog or a stroll for this morning. A lot of dark clouds looking back to the northwest from Rhodes College in and around central Memphis. But some sunlight getting on through, so we are seeing again at least a little bit of some sunshine out there for right now. The view from our transmitter tower camera looking back toward I-40 and Witten Road and Germantown Road off in the distance. Arlington and Lakeland off this way. Clouds are breaking up, a little bit more sunshine being seen. And that's, again, not doing too bad for the current situation. So, again, less chances of rainfall the further we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. Welcome to everybody else checking in for this morning. Uh, let's see here. Billy Foster... Collierville, I'm assuming that is. Cloudy, thank you very much for that one. Good morning and welcome to everybody else uh, checking in for this morning. Got any weather reports out there, please let us know. And if you've got any weather pictures, you can tweet them to me or send them on through through my email information there on the side of the page. From Carlsbad, New Mexico, Carol Baker Montgomery winning the uh, award for the farthest away viewer from the Mid-South this morning, at least so far. If you're up even farther than that, let us know. Here's some place you want to be far away from this weekend. The area around 240 in Poplar will be shut down. You can see, again, numerous construction vehicles and a lot of construction little yard areas set up here for the Memfix 4 project going on, which is going to continue throughout the next year or so. This entire intersection, north, south, east, and west, interstate, and Poplar will be shut down this weekend. So you're going to have to find another way to get around, back to around Park Avenue and around Quince on the south side of things, and then back to around Walnut Grove and Shady Grove. That'll be your best bet for anything involving a detour around this, but you will not be able to get through Poplar in 240 this weekend. The interstate as well from Mount Moriah back to the flyover will be shut down. So keep it up to date with News Channel 3 and we'll keep you advised as to what's going on into and around the area. Joyce Yonke Yonk Doolin from Maryland, welcome to the show. 
Uh, if you're anywhere around the coastal area of the Delmarva Peninsula, say hello to my uh, former senior meteorologist at Fort Smith, Jay Hillgardner, who's out there as a professional beach bum as of right now. Ken Bell, why do some weathermen stand in front of the radar during a storm forecast? Well, because that's how we can gesture and tell you as to what's going on out there. So that's the best way we can do our jobs. We can't just do it with on-air cursors and just a lot of markers on the screen. It's a lot easier for us that we step in front of the picture and say, here's what you're looking at here. Here's what you're looking at here. Very good question. That's exactly Exactly what we do. And again, thank you very much for asking that. Storm Tracker 3S radar around the metro area. Not that much going on at this point in time. A few showers and thunderstorms over portions of the area for this morning. Looking from east to west, looking between the area of Bolivar and Corinth, we've got a few showers taking place here. A few lightning markers showing up between about east view and Corinth. That moving its way on down to the east-southeast. Heaviest activity was over I-55 earlier, making its way toward areas around Oxford. Now it appears that's dwindling pretty well, but we have some more showers developing and redeveloping over portions of southeast Arkansas, including some more lightning around Helena, West Helena. We do not have any severe weather, but again, we are going to be watching for that carefully in the course of the next several hours, just in case, because as of right now, we're just, again, right at that time of the year to where we could get an isolated severe storm, but nothing like that showing up at this point in time, so good news. Welcome to everybody, and hello, who's watching our program on the net here for or keeping you updated as to what's going on. Uh, beyond this, we don't really have, again, if my cursor would cooperate, that would help out. There we go. Again, showers and thunderstorms back toward Little Rock. So if you're heading west toward that direction, you might wind up with some of this activity west of Forest City. And then showers and thunderstorms back from around I-22 up into the Tennessee River Valley, moving away from us and heading on out of the picture. And that should do it for the rainfall slowly and grudgingly getting rid of that for later on today. Tunica, you win the rainfall lottery this morning at the airport, well over an inch of rainfall, some wet roadways out there. So please use caution and a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going just to be on the safe side. We again see that possibility of rain adding a lot more humidity to the air. So as we go throughout the course of the next several hours, we'll be looking for these chances of showers and thunderstorms along and south of the metro area to be leaving the Mid-South, moving away from the area, and taking the chances of rainfall with it. But it's going to be the rest of the day before we get rid of most of that rain. So if you're in Oxford, Corinth, Batesville, Clarksdale, in that area, you're going to see better chances of rainfall here than up north of, say, Millington, Dyersburg, Gibson County in Tennessee, Craighead County in Arkansas. And that area here, because it's much more clear, will see more warm temperatures. So we'll get some temperatures pushing 90 degrees in parts of the area throughout the rest of the day today. So that's what we'll be looking at as those showers and thunderstorm chances dwindle and head away from us for later on tonight. Now tomorrow morning, if everything works, we could see some lower 60s out there briefly with some hopefully clearer skies coming our way. Don't think we'll be totally clear, but at least we'll get rid of most of the cloud cover out there. Temperatures, again, normal for this time of the year is about 92. We're going to be a few degrees below that, and the shower and thunderstorm chances will linger for the southern viewing area and then leave the Mid-South into later on. Temperatures for Saturday, right around 90, but we're not seeing anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms throughout Saturday. Now, Sunday, there is that possibility of seeing a return to showers and thunderstorms, but I think it's going to be very late in the evening, more toward Monday at midnight, and then Monday and Tuesday, some very good news out there. Number one, we're going to be looking again at much cooler temperatures, thanks to the clouds and the rainfall blocking out a lot of the sunshine. Things are going to be a lot more comfortable in there for right now. Uh, Jessica Braden, is it going to rain in Memphis today? We're pretty much done with the rainfall from overnight. We've picked up about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch in parts of the area. But again, we may see a few more showers into late this morning, but that's going to be about it. Now for Monday and Tuesday, possibly into Wednesday, that'll be our best chances of showers and thunderstorms. Right now, it does not look like severe weather. Here's hoping it stays that way. If anything changes, we'll let you know throughout the rest of the weekend, so keep it tuned here for the updated latest on that. But some much more comfortable temperatures, almost a category below normal for this time of the year by Tuesday. That's very nice, and enjoy it while you can, because naturally, with all good things coming to an end, things will be heading back upwards again where the temperatures are concerned back in the lower to mid-90s. That's close to normal for our first weekend of August. 
maybe some scattered showers out there, but just really not seeing much more than that anytime soon into and around the area. Welcome to everybody checking in for this morning. Lee Maxwell, the trees need more rainfall. Yes, my backyard could use a little bit more uh, at this point in time. Shun Gemini Shaw have a funeral to attend. Is the rain gone? Depends on your location. North of I-40, for the most part. South of I-40, not really just yet. Uh, thank you very much for asking on that one for right now. And to everybody else checking in for this morning, let's see. Cloudy, Sandra Lemon Caps, DeSoto and Tate County Line. Thank you very much uh, for checking in. Sharon Chambers, is going to rain anymore in Clarksdale? Yes, you're going to be getting some more rainfall throughout the next couple of hours at least, but it doesn't look like anything severe. And I wouldn't rule out the possibility of an isolated rumble of thunder in to and around that area either. Now, burn bans, a lot of fire information coming in from out west. The CAR, C-A-R-R fire in around northern California exploded overnight, tripling its size and is only a few percent contained. We have some fire danger here in the Mid-South. Lee County in the viewing area is under a burn ban. Monroe County, just outside the viewing area, is also under a burn ban. And there's about seven more counties in and around southeastern areas of Arkansas into around Texarkana and southern portions of the area right north of the Louisiana state line. These counties are under burn bans, and that's the only ones from the Arkansas Forestry Commission. Mississippi, no fire burn bans in effect at this time. Tennessee does not issue burn bans unless it's under an extraordinary need basis for a very dry, very dangerous fire situation. So that's the extent of the fire danger here in the Mid-South. Some, but not much, nowhere near the explosive growth of the fires of what we're seeing out west. More information on this, head to my social media websites and we'll have more information about this throughout the course of the day and throughout the rest of the weekend as well. Tropics also looking very quiet. The tropical air shoved out of here by that dry air about maybe a week or so ago. Going into today, nothing developing in the Gulf, the Caribbean, or into the Western Atlantic. And according to the National Hurricane Center, nothing is developing out there for the next two to five days, so looking very nice across much of the area. We haven't approached the peak of hurricane season yet, so once again, we've got to watch very carefully to see what goes on. And remember, it only takes one storm to really ruin someone's day, so we'll keep you updated on that, so keep it tuned to the weather experts for more on that. All right, some of your weather pictures out there from Tamara Theobald wandering through through the sunflowers out there yesterday evening. Beautiful sunset. Thank you very much for picking that one up. Code Crew and what they do here in Memphis is teaching kids and adults more about coding and software writing and all kinds of neat stuff like that. Their hackathon, their big event of the year is coming up this Sunday afternoon in the FedEx Institute Technology Center on the University of Memphis campus. Yours truly is a judge for that, and I will be there to judge the projects with a team of judges out there. If you'd like to stop on by or learn more about how you can benefit from their training or your kids can benefit from that, follow Code Crew on uh, any social media out there. Uh, Mr. Meka Ekwekwe doing a great job of teaching kids and adults what they need to know to brighten their future up. And Louis Haskett, nice view of sunrise with a bit of a sun pillar out there from northeast Arkansas. I believe that was yesterday morning. Didn't see too much in the way of clear skies out there for today. If you got any pictures of weather around the Mid-South or wherever you're checking in from, we would love to know more about it. So please, again, tweet the information to me at aonic underscore WREG3. Parrish Henderson, rain in around... Uh, let's see, two-point typeface and bifocals. Marvell, Arkansas. Few scattered showers left over. Could be a thunderstorm into the rest of the morning, but not seeing much of anything left over at this time in the way of major amounts of problems at this point, so looking good there. Jeffrey Griffiths, cloudy and 74 in Pope, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Steve Dodson, excellent weather. Looking a lot better at this time. And Mike Briscoe from Oxford, Mississippi. A little bit of light rainfall showing up there. Thank you very much for those reports. Catch up on my forecast for the next about hour and 40 minutes on AM 730 with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live Sports Chat. 
Lots to talk about these days as football season approaches. A lot of golf information out there as well. And you can dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org and catch them again at AM 730 in the Memphis metro area. Also catch my forecast coming up this weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 if you're away from your super phone or your tablet or anything else on there. Also coming up in just a little bit, we'll have information about what's going on with whether we're the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, you can find out more about what's going on across the world. We'll have more details on that in just a few minutes. That'll be just about 1030 for this morning, so stick around for more information on that. That'll wrap it up for this morning's edition of News Channel 3 Daybreak. We'll have more details coming up on the complete forecast throughout the day on Live at 9 and also on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim Simpson will be here for the forecast tonight, and of course I'll be here throughout the rest of the weekend, so if you got any questions, again, please email them to me austin.onic at wreg.com and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday and into the weekend as we keep you updated on all the day's news, weather, and sports. So stick around for more on that. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, Janet Lentz. Chesser, Ripley, Mississippi. A few showers out there right now. Maybe a few thunderstorms out there left over in the next couple of hours, but that should be about all that you see throughout the rest of the morning and then dwindling chances into the rest of the day. So that'll be about as good as it gets uh, for rainfall. So thank you very much for asking about that. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday. We keep you advised on weather, news, and sports. Also, again, available at WREG.com. Thanks for joining us.